past paper question is from the Advanced Higher 2014, written 9C. In a PPA, aspirin, which is our product, uh, has the formula C9H8O4 and was prepared by reacting two hydroxybenzoic acid, which is our reactant, with ethanoic anhydrides. A catalyst was added and when the crude aspirin had formed, impurities were removed by dissolving them in a suitable solvent. The crystals of aspirin were then dried in an oven before determining the purity and the percentage yield. The percentage yield for the reaction was 67%. That's what we were given. The percentage yield was 67%. And we want to calculate the minimum mass of our uh, two hydroxybenzoic acid required to produce five grams of our product. So we can insert into here, we know that there's a relationship between the mass of reactant and the percentage yield of our product coming out. And what we have to be able to do is we have to be able to work our theoretical yield um, of our reactant to begin with. So this is an example of a reverse percentage yield. Remember, percentage yield is about the product. We do have the yield of product and we've got the actual mass that we are wanting to produce. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to work out our ratio and our ratio for our reactant to product is a one to one ratio. Now in the question, they want us to calculate mass. Mass is equal to number of moles times GFM. So we're going to write out the formula to get into the correct units. Now, um, this is an older paper, so it is a lot more challenging um, as they're not giving us the GFMs given in the question and they are also not giving us a balanced chemical equation. In the new advanced higher, you will be given this information to make it easier. The GFM of our product, which is our aspirin, is 180 grams. We could work that out from the formula that's given as C9H8O4. The two hydroxybenzoic acid, we'd be expecting you to be able to draw that and then calculate the GFM again in past papers. Now, you will be given that information. So the GFM of this would be 138 grams. We know that we want to produce five grams of our product. That is what is given in the question. So we want to proportionalize backwards to be able to work out the mass of our reactant. So to do that, we would do 138 times by five divided by 180. I'm gonna pop that into my calculator, 138 times by five, and so divided by 180. That would give me a mass of 3.83 grams. Now that mass is equal to the percentage yield of the reaction. So 3.83 grams would produce 67%. However, we know that if it only produces 67%, we're going to produce less than five grams. We would have 67% of the five grams. So what we have to do is we have to scale up for 100%. We want 100% of our product being made. We want a five grams, a total of five grams being produced. So we scale up percentage. So we cross multiply, which would give us 3.83 times by 100 divided by 67. And we should get a mass greater than 3.83. 3.83 times by 100 equals, and then divide by 67, we get a mass of 5.72 grams. Now, if I wanted to make sure that this was correct, I could do all my information and pop it into the calculator to fit into the percentage yield calculation. 138 grams, this is my theoretical, would produce 180 grams of my aspirin. If I take the information that I had here, which was 5.72 grams, and proportionalise to see how much product I'd make, 180 times 5.72 divided by 138 would give me a mass of 7.46. Now that would be my theoretical yield of my product. If I pop that into the calculation, um, percentage is equal to actual over theoretical times 100. I'm gonna rearrange for actual because that's what I'm trying to work out. A is equal to percentage times T divided by 100. 
The percentage in the question was 67% times by the theoretical, which we've worked out here for our product is 7.46 and divide that by 100. When I pop that into the calculator, 6.67 times 7.46 answer divided by 100, you can see that I get a final mass of 4.99, which would be equal to 5 grams of product, which proves that my calculation is correct. This past paper question is from the Advanced Higher 2016 written 9b. Another preservative is sodium 4-hydroxybenzoate and it can be prepared by reflux and ethylparaben with sodium hydroxide solution. And you can see that you are given a balanced equation. In this experiment, the percentage yield of 4-hydroxybenzoic acid, which is our product, is equal to 77.5%. So 77.5%. And we want to calculate the mass of ethylparaben that can produce a total of 2.48 grams of our product. So what we have to do with this is we first have to work out the theoretical. And what we can see is from the balanced equation, we have a one-to-one -one ratio between our reactant and our product. Because the question works in mass, we know mass is equal to number of moles times the GFM. So we're going to times both sides by the GFM to put it into the appropriate unit. The GFM of our reactant is given as 166 and the GFM of our product is given as 138. Now in the question, they tell us exactly how much product we want to produce. We want to produce 2.48 grams. So what we want to do is we want to scale and proportionalize to work out the theoretical mass of reactant that we would need to produce this here. So that would be 166 times by 2.48 and then divide that by 138. And when we pop that into our calculator, 166 times by 2.48, answer divided by 138. That would give me a theoretical mass of 2.9831 dot 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 dot. We want to always keep this into our calculator for our final calculation. Now, we know that in this reaction, regardless of how much mass we've got, we're only ever going to get 77.5% of our final percentage yield. So what I want to do is pop this number in here. There's a relationship between the mass of reactant that I use and the percentage of product that I produce. Now, I know that if I only took 77.5% of 2.48, that would be my product. I wouldn't achieve 2.48 grams. So I know that I'm going to have to put more reactant in to be able to achieve a final mass of 2.48. So to do this, what we want to do is we want to scale this for 100% because we want 100% of our final product. That's 2.48. So to do this, what we'll do is we'll cross multiply. So I take the answer that's in my calculator, times it by 100, and then divide it by 77.5%. And that will give me a mass of my reactant that I should put in as 3.85 grams. Now to double check myself, what I can do is I can sub this in to my theoretical and then sub the new scaled theoretical for my product and the percentage yield in and what I should get is an actual yield of 2.48 grams. So for us to do that, we'll take our relationship again, which is 166 grams of our reactant, we produce 138 grams of product. If we take our proportionalised reactant, so that's our 3.85 grams, if we were to scale that for our product, we would do 138 times by 3.85 and then divide that by 166. So 138 times by 3.85 equals divided by 166 would give me a theoretical mass of 3.2 grams. Now let's substitute that into our final. So percentage is equal to actual over theoretical times by 100. We'll rearrange because we want the actual yield to come out at 2.48. So A is equal to percentage 
times by theoretical all over 100. The percentage yield we were given in the question was 77.5%. So we've got 77.5%. Times it by the theoretical, which we'd worked out there as 3.2, and then divide that by 100. And when we pop that into the calculator, 77.5 times by 3.2, and then divide it by 100, we should get 2.48. I'm going to pop that in the calculator. I get exactly 2.48, which tells me that my calculation is correct.